My dream job as a child was to be, I think it was to be a pilot. I first went on a plane when I was 15 years old. Um, so before that, it was like the stuff of dreams. And then when I was about 10, I was like, hold on a minute, being a pilot looks really stressful. I think I saw a documentary on BBC and I thought acting, that's just learning lines. And I've done a lot of theatre since I was a child. So I thought, hey, if I work hard enough at this, maybe one day I'll be on telly. One of the really interesting things for me is that I've always felt, like since acting, should we say, I've always felt like my calling, if you want to call it that, has been in a, like a performance setting. But I suppose as I've matured, I've realised that, you know, some things aren't so realistic. So no, I'm not going to move to Hollywood and be in a film with Zach Braff. My name's Ben Southam, I'm British. I work at SoundCloud in the localization team, which is essentially working with languages, working with uh, globalization of our platform. So we have a lot of um, users, but as we think more about, you know, people in the, in the corner of the earth that we haven't really considered yet, like for example, Brazil is a massive market. We've launched uh, Brazilian Portuguese on SoundCloud, so users in Brazil can have a nice time kind of educating the company to understand that English isn't the only language that people speak in the world or educating them to understand that left to right isn't the only direction that text, you know, goes. In my spare time, I work a lot on music. So in the past, I've written musicals, done a lot of theatre, and now I'm actually working actively on an album. So that's kind of my next big thing. I've been doing music for about 10 years, kind of seriously-ish. So when I say seriously, I think what I mean is uploading things to the internet. Uh, doing gigs, sharing it with people. And I realized only recently that a lot of the impetus for things really has to come from within. It took me a really long time to realize that I can't rely on somebody else to like push me forwards with the creative like pursuits that I want to tackle. So I just had to say, okay, now's the time. I'm going to make an album. I gave myself a, a deadline just for the fun of it. I said, let's work for a year, see what happens. I made myself a timeline. I also work in project management, so it's quite fun to do that, apply my skills from work to that type of stuff. For me, project management, it's an acquired skill. It's not something I've always been good at, but I've definitely realized that taking a methodical approach to something creative can really, really help it. So you might see, you might see like a painting by an artist and think it's absolutely gorgeous. And you're like, oh, how could they have done that? They woke up one morning, they were inspired, they got their paintbrush and they went, ah, and then look, there's a great painting, but no, 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 no. They've been like practicing, they've been like refining and honing their skills, you know, for. 10, 15, 20 years. They've been looking outside for inspiration every single day. They've been working themselves up to go, okay, this is the day that I do this painting. I'd say the thing that motivates me the most is the fact that I've got stuff going on and it needs to be done. And it's like my responsibility to do it right now. So and my album, for example, if I don't get up, you know, if I'm like staying in bed chilling, then who's gonna write those songs? Oh, nobody. So I have to get up, I have to like make this effort. I really like the idea of having something to do, of having a project. So whilst I enjoy work separately, for me, it's very, very important that I've not just got work to care about in life. And I know that for other people, that's the point, right? So they go to work, they earn their money, they do something that's like fine. They go home, they watch Netflix, they go on holiday, they go to the cinema, they go play football. All of these things are also like great. For me, um, I, I like find it quite important that I've got something that I take very, very seriously outside of work as well so that I don't get swept up in like a sea of something that essentially isn't mine. I really like the idea of having a project that I've created myself. I'd like to leave a mark. And I think a lot of human beings want to do that, right? They want to know that once they've gone into the other world or where, wherever they believe they go, that somebody will say, oh, I remember this guy. I remember that girl. They did that thing and that was good and will forever remember it. And sure, in four and a half thousand years when, you know, we've all turned into AIs, Maybe people won't remember the musical that I wrote, but I just really want to make my mark and use my skills. It would really disappoint me if I looked at all of the things that I've been given. I've been given the ability to speak English, to sing, to write songs, to go on stage and not be so nervous, to write lyrics, all these things. And like, I try my best to make sure that I'm actually using those things, actively using these like things that I have, because, you know, in the world, I think there are a lot of people who have a lot of passions and they just lie dormant because either people are too scared or because people are too busy or people don't have enough money. 
but yeah, I just want to make sure that the skills and kind of passions that I have uh, don't go to waste. Life is a